Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. This chair makes me feel really small, really short. But I'm back in the workshop. I wanted to talk about steel leaders today. I'm gonna make some for you too. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, look at this one. You see this? This is a typical manufactured steel leader coated with plastic that you get at the store. This one is like 18 inches long. Comes with a swivel up top right there. A swivel with a clip on it there. Now they, you can get even cheaper ones. I don't like these. I used to use these a long time ago when I first started fishing for gar and I would go through them really fast. They would break on me. Consequently, I would lose fish. So I don't use those anymore. First of all, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to make your own. It's not, it's not a lot of stuff either. Here's the first thing you need to go look for, steel leader. Now, I go pretty big because I'm targeting alligator gar. This is a 135 pound, seven strand steel leader. This is one of my favorites. You don't have to use this company. You can find any. Berkeley makes uh, this stuff, and some other people do as well. But I like this one a lot. Like I said, I go big because I'm fishing for alligator gar mostly. If you're going to be targeting just short nose or spotted gar, you don't need to go that big, obviously, because they're not big fish. You could go, you know, much lighter. You could go down to 15 if you wanted, or, or even less. You know, play around with really light wire but we're talking about alligator gar that and you can actually use this kind of steel leader for shark as well and some other toothy fish all right let's move on you also need to get yourself some barrel sleeves now these are uh, single barrel sleeves sometimes when you go to Walmart you can't find the single barrel or even any barrels I've, I've had some problems trying to get this stuff at Walmart and then sometimes I found it this is by seven strand which is by Berkeley these are the the size a6 you see right there it's pretty good I'm gonna pull those out and show you right now here we go they're pretty strong pretty good that size does me just well gonna need some uh, barrel swivels too these are 65 pound test by Mustat kvds those work really really good you need some strong ones and these are strong enough for what we're doing this is the only tool you're going to need this is a pair of wire crimpers by southwire they're pretty strong i got these in missouri actually at a uh, lowe's they will cut your wire they will crimp your wire see there's your crimper right there can't forget these you need a hook now i'm using size six kales one of my favorite style of hook for uh, alligator gar. You can go a little bigger if you want. I like a size six. It's perfect for the bait that we're gonna use later on in the session that we're making these for. Man, that chair just made me feel ridiculous. So here we go. Getting our wire out. Now I'm gonna cut about 20 22 inches something nearabouts there we go did you see that i'm making a mess i'll have to well will you stop i just put all that line back on there i thought i was never going to get it done stuff just wants to untwine unwind there we go now that I have a, a length cut, I want to get out a couple of barrel sleeves. So you might be wondering why I, I cut it kind of long, or to some of you, you might think I just randomly cut it. And I, I did. I did both those. I'm going to put both these sleeves on there, just like that. Here pretty soon, it's going to make sense what I'm doing. All right now I'm going to grab a hook. Put it put the line through the eye of the hook. Now Now I've got a loop. 
I'm gonna take one of those barrel sleeves and bring it down to my hook. Just like that. All right, so I got my crimper. You see, see the half moon and see the little nub? I'm gonna st stick that barrel sleeve right there in that groove and then press super tight. Now you wanna to come to the center and do the same thing. Super tight. Now you wanna to come to the end and do the same thing. You basically wanna crimp this three times, as hard as you can, and then you're gonna end up with something like this. See that? That is good, that is super strong. The reason why I have such a tag in is to give you control because of the tension when you make your loop. Now we're gonna snip that tag in off. Flew across the room. I'll probably step on that later. Great. Now it's time to put that swivel on. We're gonna put the wire through one of the eyes. come down, make a loop, and kind of, you can bend your wire a little bit like I've just done and make it easier to get your barrel sleeve down to the swivel tighter. It's pretty much the same thing you did with the hook. You wanna slip that barrel sleeve down to the swivel, grab your crimpers, go to one end, And crimp. Slip it to the middle and crimp nice and tight. Go to the other end, far end, nice and tight. There we go. Let's cut this uh, tag in off. That's about what I wanted. All right, so now I'm gonna make three more for an upcoming session. And now you know how to make your own steel eaters. I, I hope you go out and try it. You'll save some money and you're not gonna lose fish if you make them super strong like I do. So <laughs> there's a nice little funny M hood style how-to video for you like share comment if you haven't already subscribe i'll see you next time